The koala barn at Riverbank Zoo is home to these two fuzzy marsupials, 18-year-old Lottie and her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Charlotte. But they do have a really cool natural history, which is why I love talking to people about koalas, because they have a lot of adaptations that help them to survive in the wild. Senior cat bear keeper Catherine Connell has been at Riverbanks for seven years, caring for Lottie so the koala can focus on her most important job, having joeys as a part of the species survival plan. It's vital to their survival. Director of Animal Care John Davis says our sister state partnership with Queensland is how Lottie traveled to Riverbanks in the first place. Uh, getting koalas out of Queensland, Australia was, was, uh, doesn't happen very often, so it's a very unique, special gift for us. Lottie arrived at Riverbanks in 2002. She's had 11 babies. Those babies then had their own babies. And now Lottie has 14 grand joeys, six great grandbabies, and now one great great grandbaby. She's an old lady, but she's still hanging in there. When koalas have babies, they're only a month old and the size of a jelly bean. They immediately climb into mom's pouch, where they stay for six months while they grow. All of a sudden, you'll start seeing an arm or a head, and then you start getting excited because you know it's, it's getting close, and then eventually, it can't fit in the pouch anymore and it comes out and then we get to see it for the first time. It is a critical program because if koalas become endangered or functionally extinct in the wake of the Australian bushfires, repopulation in captivity could be the answer to koala survival. I've definitely been shedding some tears because there's a sense of helplessness when it's something so far away and when you work directly with animals, the species that are being affected by this, it, it's definitely hit home. And while we don't yet know the full extent of the impact to koalas in the wild right now, we do know the impact zoos like Riverbanks could have as keepers now prepare Charlotte to become the next crucial piece in the conservation puzzle.